All right, first we're gonna do an exercise that is to prevent the opponent to take our back, okay? So when our opponent is turning towards our back, we're gonna roll. You gotta understand the right side to roll, okay? So when I'm here, let's say I shoot like a, a double leg or I try to sweep, and my opponent is with the chest on my back like this, and then he's gonna spin to my back. Just like so, you see that? He always pick one side to spin to your back, okay? Go back. So right now your opponent is not gonna, your partner is not gonna link the hands together as a seatbelt. He's just gonna go really slow to the side, and you guys are gonna do a forward roll to recover the guard. Okay, that's the warm up. So I'll be here. Alex is gonna go with both knees off the mat, and then he's gonna go around me to the side. I'm gonna look to the outside, see? And then I'll roll over my shoulder, open my legs super wide, and then recover the guard, okay? Sometimes in the meantime, I can set up a triangle here when I roll and I have one leg over his shoulder, that's a perfect timing for me to get the, the triangle, okay? Again, so I'll be here. He's gonna go to my back. I face outside, I look under my armpit, you see that? And I roll over my shoulder. And I open my legs super wide, and then we cover the guard, okay? He goes the other side. I look to the other side, look, look away, and then roll. We cover the guard. Very simple. As you roll, you make grips, okay? As you recover the guard, you can either close the guard, you can attack a triangle, you can just hold his sleeves or count his sleeve. You gotta make grips right after that, okay? So, very important. When my opponent start going to the side, I cannot look towards him. Look, if I do that, he's gonna smash him, okay? I can't roll, okay? It's kind of like weird, right? Because you gotta look away from him in order to roll and recover the guard. But that's how it works, okay? So let's say I got a shot on him, he sprawled, and now I start going to my back. I roll. Just like so. You see one leg is over his shoulder? I can lock the triangle right away. I finish in a nice triangle. Very simple, very basic, super effective, and we use that all the time to recover the guard, okay? What I cannot do is when he's going towards me here, I cannot roll like this, okay? It's not like, like rolling like this, okay? So you're gonna do exactly like a forward roll. My hip doesn't touch the mat. I don't do this with my hips, okay? I roll over my shoulder, just like a forward roll. And when I roll, my legs need to be super wide open, okay? There you go. Look my legs, super wide open, triangle, okay? The triangle is always there, okay, most of the time. You guys understand? You guys have any question? Yes? All right, let's work on that. One, two, three, go. If I go here, and then Coach Alex start going to the side, roll, Coach, this way, I roll, let's say he stack me, go for the stack. Now like, uh, double under, double under. Like he's here, okay? Go back. So when I'm here, if you link his hands together, I need to grab his wrist, bridge, and then I take my knees out like this first, like I'm taking my pants off, just like that. Now I open my knees and then I can triangle him, okay? If he's not linked the hands together, if his hands like that, I can just pummel my legs like this, inside, and then recover the back, okay? So, um, we're gonna keep doing that, but now we're gonna set up a submission, okay? The triangle. So when he goes to the side, I look away, I roll, and I'll catch the triangle, okay? Notice that when I roll, it's like a four roll, guys. Go this way, coach. So, I'm here, he's going to my back, look how I'm gonna roll. You see that my hips, my hips doesn't touch the mat. I just roll over my shoulder like this, boom and open my leg, because my leg touches uh, on his body, so naturally I will face to him, okay? Pay attention, go. Uh, run this way here, uh, go to my back, yeah, right, right side, there you go, look. You see? So some of you guys were doing like this, so he's going through my back, go, and you guys are touching your hips on the floor. If you touch your hips on the floor, you can't roll, right? You smashed right here, it's hard for you to roll. So you gotta lift your hips, you gotta keep your hips up and just tuck your head between your legs, like this. 
like a four row. Okay? Yes, ma'am. No, you can be like a little bit standing or grow away. Doesn't matter, you can set up the Dalahiva too. Naturally, if the person is standing, let's say, uh, let's say I'm here and then he goes to my back right here. I do the exact same thing. It doesn't change. I need to recover the guard like that. Okay? I cannot try to face to my opponent. It's kind of like weird to say, right? But that's the way to, that looks like, okay? So I see some of you guys going to my back here, this way, and you try to look to the person. So look where, where I am right now. So he's on the north south. Now he's going to start doing chokes on me or go to my back, okay? I must look away from him, always. Every time he's on top of me, he starts going to my back, I must look away. You guys got it? All right, now when you roll, Set up a nice triangle, okay? If you're going to get the double unders, right here, go around. I roll, let's say you got double unders here. I push, take my knees off, then I get the triangle. I just sink one leg inside his arm, okay? That's it. You guys got it? All right, let's go one, two, three. So when I get here, the triangle is when one leg is over his shoulder and the other leg is under his arm, you need one arm inside, okay? The side you lock the triangle is the side that the arm is in, okay? Let's say if his left arm is inside, I'll lock my, my foot, my left leg to this side right here, okay? If I lock to the other side, I can do that, but it's harder to choke him, okay? So you must always keep the hips to the side of the, the arm is inside, okay? Turn now. So first thing, I'll trap him. Close my knees, bring my knees to my chest. Cross his arm to the side. Go with my right hand and grab my top leg here, which is the leg that's over his shoulder, okay? Now the outside leg here, I post on his hips and skip my hips to the side. I need to build an angle in order to do the triangle. So you try an angle. Okay, so you try an angle, boom, you got the angle, so now I lock easy. But look if my hips is on this side, it's so hard for me to lock the triangle. It doesn't work, so you need to escape. You can use the foot on the floor as well, escape, 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 until you're able to lock the triangle. And I don't want to see you locking like this. You must lock behind your knee. So you grab here and lock behind your knee. Why I grab inside my leg instead of outside? Because outside is too far. Okay, and sometimes when you lock like this, seriously, I saw uh, one friend of mine getting hurt. He hurt his, his ankle right here. Kind of like he foot lock, he, he foot lock himself. He was like, ah! He's like, oh, he hurt his, his uh, ankle right here, okay? So you need to grab inside because it's safer, okay? The arm that's here around his head is uh, making the same row as the leg. Okay, then it's easy for you to walk. Okay? So every time you're trying to do the triangle here, okay, your opponent will try to stack you like this. So don't let your knee pass the line of your hips. Okay? Don't let his, your knee come to your chest. Okay? So you need to like scoot back, scoot back, just like that. Escape your hips out. And stiff your leg. I can even push here. Try to stack me. I use my head on the floor. Okay, to stay really stiff and, and then lock the triangle. Okay, so same thing, go to my back. He's gonna roll, go to the back, I'm gonna roll. Now I got here, lock my leg first, grab my shin, skip my hips, we get the angle, lock the triangle, pull the head down and bridge until he taps. Okay, you can go like this if you want to, All right, like this, and then tap. Okay. So the same way you pulling his head down, you squeeze your knees together. So you squeeze the knees, pull the head, and bridge. Okay? Just like that. Let's go. One, two, three. Go. All right, we learned a transition, right? So we're defending, and then he's, he's trying to counter my, my shot, or when I'm on bottom, he's trying to run to my back. That happens a lot. So we rolled, and then we set up the triangle, right? So we went from a defense, uh, defensive position to, to
to an attack, okay? And we attack the triangle, which is the most effective submission in Jiu Jitsu, in my opinion, okay? Uh, there's a lot of submissions you'll see like in the fight, which is the triangle, arm bars, and chokes, okay? Triangles and arm bars, you see a lot, okay? And there's like full locks, knee bars, so we're gonna learn this later, okay? All right, so now let's say I'm too lazy, let's say I'm too tired, and my opponent get my back and put both hooks in. So let's say I'm here, and then Alex ran to my back, and then he get both, both legs inside like this, and now I'm here in this situation, okay? So how do I escape from this? So I gotta teach you how to escape from this, okay? It's very important to know, especially when you're starting Jiu Jitsu, to know how to survive from the situations, from the position, okay? Right now, I'm giving my back to my opponent and there's nothing I can do on him, okay? It's really hard for me to escape from this, okay? Um, he's gonna try to choke me or he can do variations to an arm bar, for example. He can grab my arm here on this side, for example, underhook it in my arm, and then pass his leg over my head. So now he got the arm bar, okay? So he can tap me like that as well, all right? So I'll be on this position here, okay? And he's gonna be on my back. We're gonna start right here. We don't need to set up the, the back take, okay? He can be with both arms under my arms, okay? Or one arm over, okay? If both arms are over my arms like this, simply I can just like slide down like this, okay? And then I escape, all right? So most of the time, your opponent will have one arm over and one arm under. The arm that's over is the arm that will attack your neck. Okay, so with this arm, he's gonna try to choke me out. Okay, uh, if he goes with both arms under, it's good, it's a good control, but there's not much chokes for him. He's just gonna hold, uh, he's gonna hold uh, himself on my back as long as he can, but there's no attacks. So if you want to attack, he's gonna put one arm over. Put one arm over. First thing I'm gonna do, I'll protect, and I'll have this hand very close to my chicken, the other side right here, crossing my hand here, never on this side. So I cross like this so I can fight with this hand right here. Try to choke me, Alex. I'm gonna grab him, just like as a baseball, I'm grabbing a baseball bat, holding like this, not like that, okay? Here, all right? So the first submission you're gonna learn here, it's very, how can I say, uh, stupid, okay? Because uh, it happens a lot, okay? And the guy who's attacking your back will get so frustrated if you do that. Okay, and this is a submission we need to learn. And when you attack the back, you need to understand that the person can do that on you. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna cross the leg of your opponent like this. Or sometimes you take her back with the leg crossed like that. Okay, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna just step your leg over. You see that if this leg is on top, I'll attack with the same side on top here. I'll lock my leg here, I'll figure four like this. Now I just bridge. And then Alex will tap. So what I'm doing here, I'm crossing my leg and doing this, okay? So this is very painful and hurts, okay? So be careful when you're doing that. In the fight, you can do that to defend, okay? And actually, this is legal for white belts. Just to let you know, that's the only, one of the full locks that you guys can do if you are competing, okay? Because it's his fault to cross the leg. Go, take my back. So cross the leg. So every time your opponent cross the leg, you can do that. So now look, if it's on this side, I'm gonna bring this leg over. Then I'll lock my leg in figure four, and I'll bridge, okay? Of course, go more close. Of course, you guys saw me like holding my leg and trying to attack and put my leg over his toes, right? Cross your legs again. So I can be like doing this. I can, in the meanwhile, I'm defending the neck. I'm bringing my leg over here like this. And then I lock, now I bridge. You can go to the side that you feel more comfortable. I prefer to the side that's on top, but in this case, I like this side better than the other side. It don't really matter. So as long as you, you putting your leg over his big toe here and pushing his leg down like this, okay? Just like so. And you gotta lock it like a figure four, just like a triangle and bridge, okay? And when I say bridge, it's doing this, okay? and keep your knees wide open. Don't try to lock your knees like this, okay? So I'm defending, like cross the legs. So one, he can cross the legs and I will go there. I can keep holding here 
if I if I'm stiffen and it's hard for me to lock the figure four, I can grab here and then I grab my shin and do this. And then I go back here. So you see that I step my leg over? I can turn a little bit to the side if I want to rest a little bit, and then I start bridge. Okay? You guys got this? Easy, right? Okay. Another way for me to do is if my opponent is not crossing the leg, I will force him to cross the leg. I start putting his legs together here and I'll force him to lock the legs like this. And then he locked the leg, now I go, boom. Once I do this, it's super hard to defend. And then you breach. okay? You guys understand? People ask me, Professor, how do you escape from this, okay? Uh, you can tap three times and then you escape. <laughs> right? But there's one way that I do, which is a little bit mean, but you know, you, you gotta do it sometimes because I feel this position is very mean, all right? When somebody's trying to do that on me, I'm like, oh my God, this guy's mean, right? But you guys need to learn in order to not get hurt, okay? So let's say if I'm here with Alex, okay? And then I cross my legs by mistake, or he cross my leg and he step my leg over, go like, like this. I go right here. I start like, Cross face him and, and then you're gonna forget about your, uh, tap me out right there and then I'll start like releasing my feet. Just to let you know. But the thing is, if Alex trap my arm under his armpit, trap my arm like this, and then he trap my arm here, grab with the hands right here. And I lock my legs, go. And now look, I can't use my hands to cross choke him. Now bridge, professor. He's gonna go there and bridge, go. Tap, tap, tap. I can even tap here, but, you know? So you gotta yell. All right, very simple, easy, and effective, okay? That's the first one, then we're gonna learn one more escape after that, then we're gonna go. You guys have any questions? All right, let's try that. One, two, three. The second way to escape is just for us to understand how to escape from the back, okay? So when my opponent is taking my back here, I cannot just lay down and put my back on top of him like that, okay? So if I do this here, he's still comfortable here, right? If I go to one side like this, he's still comfortable. If I go to this side right here, he's still comfortable. If I try to face and turn towards him, he's just gonna fall on my back, stay like a, a backpack, stay like a backpack. Yeah, I just gotta turn like this, and he's still on my back, okay? Some people think that escaping from the back, especially when you're a beginner, is just doing this, okay? But it's not that, right? You can't do that. It's really hard, all right? So what I need to do here first is to protect my neck. That's my priority. I, can, I don't want to tap, okay? First, I'll look to his foot. I say, oh, you know, like he's not crossing his foot. Okay, I'll try to escape. He's aware with the full lock. Or he crosses his feet. Cross your feet. Oh, nice. Bah, I go for the, for the full lock, okay? So cross your feet like really tight. He thinks like he's doing great. I go, oh my neck, finish him right here, okay? Second way, open your heel. Yes, your foot. So I'm here, I'm gonna grab the wrist, like this, with my thumb in, okay? Here, lock my elbow on this side, I'm gonna duck under his arm, I'm gonna go under his elbow here. You see that I wanna torque his arm like this? You see that? Now I'm gonna duck under his arm, just like so. You see that? Now I'm gonna grab his arm here, okay? And bring his arm against my shoulder. Okay, now I'm gonna put my back on the floor on this side. The same side that's my head, I go on this side. I never go the other side. Okay, I go on this side right here, like this. And now I start putting both shoulders, my entire back on the floor like this, okay? So once I do that, I'm gonna control his uh, sleeve right here, okay? Why? Because you're gonna try to make a transition to mount. Try to mount on me, he's gonna try to mount. If I let go of this hand, it's gonna pose the hand on the floor and it's gonna come up. Go back. So once I'm here, I gotta grab this hand right here. Try to mount. In the meantime, there's two things for me to do. One is just like start going as a tic-tac clock. You go away as far as you can from his head. Like this, okay? Once you're here, you can use your hand on the floor, scissor your legs, and turn on top of him. Okay, now I'm on top of him here, I escape from the back, okay? That's one way, again. So you grab, I control, 
I grab under his elbow because I want to open his elbow. I can't duck under if his elbow is tight and tuck in. Close your elbow like this. I can't duck under like this. I need to go with my hand here, look, like this. Duck under, put my shoulders on the mat. Now look, my entire back goes on the mat, like this. I go away from him. Once I go away, I post my head on the floor, my elbow on the floor, scissor my legs, and turn. Notice that I'm always controlling this arm here. If I try to win the battle here without holding his arm, go to mouth, post him. I'm gonna lose. Okay, I'll lose, then he's gonna be here. Which is, for me, is better to have uh, the opponent on mount than on my back, okay? Because I can see him, right? But when he's on my back, it's the worst place for me to sit. So I'm here, control, grab his elbow, duck under. I can actually slide under a little bit, pass his arm out, and go over here. This hand right here, look, show his sleeve. Put my shoulders on the mat. Both sides, both shoulders on the, on the mat right here. Try to mount. Try to mount. Try to mount. Try to mount. Another thing that I do too is a little secret here. So when I'm turning towards him here, when I duck under here and I grab, I put all my weight on the bottom leg. See? So I put my shoulder on the mat. Try to bring this, arm, uh, this leg underneath of me. It's hard. So all my weight is on that leg. So his leg is like a foam roll for me, okay? If I bridge, look what's gonna happen. He's gonna take the leg underneath of me, and then he come up, come up. Look, he's gonna have freedom. Maybe not on mount, go back. He's gonna be on the side control, like this, and then I'll end up here, okay? So I wanna trap his leg under my lower back. So put her weight there. So he's, he's gonna feel like trap with the leg and with the arm, and then it's just you moving on top of him, okay? Again, from here, step one, step two, shoulders, try to come top. Look, all my weight is on his bottom leg. Push his arm away, elbow on the floor, scissor my legs, come up. Now, good push. Okay? Guys, any question? The other way for, to the, uh, defend this is why like, I'm escaping, he's trying to mount, I'm gonna do a mount escape, okay? But for now, you're gonna work only on that, okay? You guys have any question, no question? One more time. You can still practice in the, the ankle lock here. Okay, he can cross the leg and then you ankle lock him. Boom, he tap, you go back, now he's got thunder. Skate, 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 go. Look, the tic tac clock, very important. When you like uh, seven o'clock, right? You seven, like eight o'clock right here, then is the time for you to come up. Put your weight on the lower back. Try to come up. Push, push. Use your leg. Okay? Don't try to come up if you are 10, 10 o'clock. Let's say I duck under here and I'm here, 10 o'clock. Don't try to turn from here. It's going to be too much. Go to 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock and then you're going to have more mobility to come up. Okay? All right, let's work. One, two, three. Back and forth.